Welcome back to Mic Up or Shut Up. This is episode 16, and as always, if you've been around a while, you know that I'm big dog, big dog, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Reagan. Hello. And my brother-in-law, Chris. Big Dick Chris, coming at you. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's probably hoping. And his wife, unfortunately, Miss Angie. Hi. Today, we have one heck of a show. <laughs> I'm trying to make it my own. But it, I'm just saying I could steal it and make it mine, right? We got a lot to talk about today. Everybody's a little amplified and... We're ready. We're ready to lay it all out for you, give you some deepness. Right, Chris? That's it, as always. As always. What you got for us today, boss? Uh, let's see. What, what do we want to start with? Um, oh, all right. Why don't you start at the top? Oh, well, I'll start at the top. Fine. Uh, let's talk about uh, people who target hackers, you know, uh, scammers, people who target scammers to take them down. You know, people who target them. Yeah, not, not them. yep. The scammers are so yep. anti-scammers. Exactly, anti-scammers. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there's a. Um, I didn't know there was such a thing. I know, right? I there's, like it though. It's it's amazing because um, in India, it is so prevalent for people to become scammers to try to scam people in the United States that there's literally office buildings where there's tons of people that go and work there every day, like they work in a regular corporate job, except that their job is to scam people in America. It's for like money. a call center. Right. Sure. Yes, yeah, a, sure. uh, a call center for scammers. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there are people over here that uh, fight back against scammers to try to take them down, you know? Uh, there's one guy in particular that I really like to listen to on YouTube. Uh, he looks like a goober. He has blue hair, short blue hair. It's kind of off-putting. You think this guy's a joke, but... He's the real deal. He uh, he's worked in cybersecurity for a long time, and now he uses it, that knowledge to you know really try to help people. And uh, his name is uh, Scammer Payback. That's the channel on YouTube. Scammer, Scammer Payback. Payback on YouTube. And uh, this guy uh, can speak Indian, whatever whatever language the Indians. I don't know what, what language they speak over there, but he speaks it. And so whenever you know whenever they're trying to scam him, and they're trying to talk to one another. Uh, he knows what they're saying, so they can't get nothing over on him, you know. And what he does is he uh, disguises his voice. You pretend to be an old man or an old woman or whatever, you know, when a scammer's call. And then he'll actually hack into their computer. And he'll, like, uh, t turn on their camera and take pictures of them and record their voice. Or he'll put a virus in their computer or he'll delete files, all kind of. Sometimes he finds their location and, like, sends authorities. Wow. Sends, oh, yeah, you know, it's no joke. Nice. This guy's no joke. Yeah. And sometimes he like works in, in uh, with other people. There a whole group of people get together, and then they'll take down a whole bunch of hackers. You know, they have they have like a call center to take down hackers. You know, which is very entertaining and also satisfying. Yes, it know? does sound very entertaining because yeah. I love to have fun with those idiots myself. Right. I mean, there's there's a lot of YouTube videos where people like just fuck with the scammers. You know, they just pretend to be old people and they just like. Make it hard for the scammers to try to pull off whatever it is, but this guy actually takes them down. You know what I mean? Right. I right. love it. Yeah, I love it. And he'll, and he'll fucking he'll like start talking to him and, and tell him, I I got your picture. Your name is Raj and your buddy Tony over here. You know, like he yeah he lets them know that they've been taken. Nice. You know? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. That's good stuff. All I can do is play with him, but I like to play with him. Right. They send you a text message, and you can always tell because these text messages say, if you don't send five hundred dollars. Right now, you will be placed in the arrest <laughs> by the CBI. And yes. like they can't even spell, and yep. you can tell that the English is so terrible. It's yes. no way that it, they are who they say they are. I mean, it's really obvious. So I always reply to those messages and say, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. You have reached no phone, no number. <laughs> well, you can't text me. Right. I think uh, just a good safety tip. If someone calls your phone and says they're from the Social Security Administration or something, and they have an Indian accent, right. uh, it's a scam. Right. That is the red flag. Right. You you know? Yeah, one time yeah, well, I'm at work one day, and uh, my boss has a phone on speakerphone, and a, an Indian guy calls him and says, hey, I'm from Social Security Administration. We have a problem. need to verify you're who you are, so could you give me your social security number? And so my boss said, well, if you're from the social security administration, uh, wouldn't you already have my social security right. number? And the guy went, it does not work that way, sir. Right, yes, it, it does work that way. <laughs> yeah. It most definitely yeah. does. Right. 
I always love, and sometimes it's legit, right? Bill collectors will call my phone and say, I need you to verify your name and your date of birth. No, you called my phone. Correct. You should already know who I am. If you don't believe I am who I am, then hang up the phone. I'm okay with that. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's getting even worse than that, though. Um, uh, most people know that we have a dog because they have hurt her on their <laughs> podcast. Yeah. But when we were shopping for a dog, um, we were looking online, basically on Facebook. We didn't know any local breeders or whatever. So we, um, I joined a couple of groups, and we wanted a boxer specifically. So everyone wants a deposit. Now, this is normal even if you know someone in person for them to get a deposit to hold the puppy. So we almost got scammed. Somebody asked for money, and, you know, we were trying to get proof, and it's very hard. I mean, they have a picture. It looks like, you know, yes, look, the puppy's there, whatever, whatever, whatever. But then I started getting some information from other people, and they're like, you really need to FaceTime them. Mm -hmm. Get them to show you live. They right. actually have puppies or right. some kind of way, you know. And so it ended up taking us a lot longer to figure out who was scamming us and who was not. And those groups are pretty well regulated, but clearly people fall Correct. through the cracks. But Anytime somebody in that group, you know, finds a scammer, they post so everyone can see and the admin kicks them out. But, I mean, you'll f we would find somebody and I'd be like, oh, this looks good. This looks like a good dog. But they were in 10 other dog groups, 10 different breeds. Well, nobody breeds 10 different right. kinds of yeah, dogs. You're not breeding boxers and greyhounds and yeah. bulldogs and all of that in the right. same place. You right. realize, are you kidding me? Right. But this per <laughs> this particular lady told her, you can send us the money through Venmo or Cash App oh. and come pick up the dog on Monday because my husband is working all weekend or some story like that, right? And I said, well, why don't we just bring the cash when we come to pick up the dog? Well, no, because we have to have it to hold, and hold the dog. Otherwise, if somebody else comes and they... They want the dog, then they're going to take the dog, and you're going to take this trip all the way to Mississippi for nothing because the dog's going to be gone. And so we went back and forth with this lady several times, and I told her I wanted to use PayPal because PayPal will refund your money if you've been scammed, right? Yeah. She said, oh, no, I don't want to use PayPal. <laughs> Eventually, we convinced her to use PayPal, and she said, okay, we can use PayPal. Well, when I went to send her the money, the PayPal came up, thank God, and said, uh, please be attention. There have been a lot of refunded requests for this particular seller. Hmm. So you may, it, it's potential scam. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I told her that and she said, Oh no, it's no problem. PayPal does that to me all the time because my husband has a lot of cash deposits with his job and stuff in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done with you. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're yeah. finished with you. You yeah. almost had me, but she, <laughs> she had me getting ready to push that button on PayPal until that, they told me that it was a potential yep. scam, you know? But the people out there that just try to get money for nothing, they work harder at trying to steal what you work hard for than if they would just go to work and get a damn job and do their own shit. sad part is old people are the biggest market for them. Yeah. Because they're so trusting. Because yeah. they don't know technology. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I can't tell you where I work, but it's a thing that happens every day where I work. Sure. Like the... Thousands of dollars. Didn't... Didn't somebody call your grandmother and say uh, yes. X? Oh uh, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. They used no, AI well, no. to duplicate the voice. Huh? No, 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 no. That's no, not no. what happened. No, no, no. Well, that's the story I got. She called me. She said, "Reagan, have you talked to Max lately?" And I said, "I mean, it's been a few days. Why? What's going on?" Well, I got a call from jail. They said it was my favorite grandchild, and I think it was Max. And they, he said, he he got arrested. Uh, I think for some drugs. <laughs> if it wasn't his drugs, he was in a car, yeah. and, you know, but they arrested him, and he needs $1,500 to, to bail out, and, you know, I'm just not sure. I really don't have that kind of money. I said, Mama, I'll call you back. So I texted Max, hey, what's up? Where are you? You know, well, I'm in school. What do you, what's, you know, what's going on? I said, nothing. Mama's getting scammed. Just needed verification <laughs> that yeah. you were okay. Yeah. But, yeah, all they told yeah. her was it was her favorite oh. grandchild. Wow. And she and jumped she was, to Max. She was about to send fifteen hundred dollars on her credit card. Just they to get the same back. call about Lauren. Yeah, so yeah. They, they, they got, got the same they call got about Lauren. Call. Yeah, crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Well, you know, uh, our grandfather, who we call Papa, 
he said that a guy called him one day and he said, hey, uh, send you some life insurance for $20 a month. It was like nineteen ninety five or whatever. You know, you can get $10,000 in life insurance. And he named a bunch of, you know, he started going down the list of all the things that he would get for the nineteen ninety five a month. So, so Paul said, hey, that sounds great. But uh, now that you're saying this, I'm thinking maybe I want $20,000 a month. So the guy was like, oh, really? Okay, well, then for another nineteen ninety five in addition, you know, then you can get, and he started naming some other stuff. And so Paul let him go through his whole spiel. And he said, you know, yeah, as we're talking, this is really sounding good. I'm thinking maybe uh, I want $30,000 a month. So the guy was like, really? Okay, great. So then another spiel. Oh, there's some more stuff you can get for for another nineteen ninety five to get the third dollar. So I think he got him up to fifty thousand dollars a month. And then the guy finally said, uh, and how old are you, sir? And he said, ninety three. Click. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it was like a thirty minute phone conversation wasting his time. Wow. He had so it. much fun with it. I love it, yeah. He, he was so proud of himself yeah. telling us that story. Yeah, I like to mess with those people. It's really fun for me. But but actually going and Cracking back on them is, is a whole nother level. You should watch it. It's really, yeah. really fun yeah, to that watch. Guy, yeah, it, like, it, they lose their shit. Like, yeah, they freak like, out when they realize. They start screaming and hollering, especially yeah. if they get into their computers and they start erasing stuff and, like, start making copies of stuff. They lose their minds. Like, it's it's so great. Yeah, they, I mean, it is it is so satisfying to watch. He does awesome stuff. Like, they'll actually, uh, if somebody actually already sent you know, put some stuff in the mail or whatever to try to send to the scammers. They'll actually intercept, try to get somebody to intercept the package so they don't get it and they can return the money. I mean, it's like such an awesome thing they do, you know. Yeah, I'm nice. glad to have people doing that. Good stuff. I wish I was intelligent and right. savvy enough with technology to do that because that is what I would do, but I'm not smart enough for that. Correct. No, no, no. I remember having a class in high school and it was zero plus zero equals this. And, you know, you, you, it took like... Oh. Days to make the computer say one plus one equals two. Well, we had such a shitty school that I remember when I was a a senior and a senior that they said, "Okay, well, we have to give you a computer class because it's required to go to college now, so we have to teach you something." But the computers we have are already obsolete, so basically we had took a computer class for nothing, just so that the school could say they were doing it because it didn't teach a shit. We did stupid stuff like we made little pictures, turned the different pixels, different colors to make a picture, say words on the screen. I mean, it was meaningless. It was a totally meaningless operation. But but we yeah, did. but back in the day, that's what the computer program language was. Yeah, I, I don't remember what it was. I think we used Basic is what we had back in those days, where you had to put line ten, run right. such and such, and then you'd have to use some some computer language, and there was a bunch of different uh, codes to tell it what to do. But that basic, what we learned in fourth grade, is so outdated now. Yep. I mean, it's nothing. C++ and a lot of things yep. that they're coding with nowadays is unreal. I mean, our our most technical class was typing. Right. Yep. yep. You couldn't look at the keyboard. Yeah, well, I did look at the keyboard, but that's <laughs> okay. I passed. So. But also, kids don't these days don't know what the sound of AOL is either. Oh, yeah. All times are so different. Technology. You got mail. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. MySpace. Waiting 15 ICQ. minutes to even sign on to the internet. Yeah, people are in. Oh, and then we had that, to pay by the minute yeah. to be on the internet. I remember you came over to the house one time, Reagan, and because uh, because uh, using the internet was so rare at that time, I, I had it. And uh, I was like at work or something, and, and uh, you ran up a $60 phone bill on my computer Ooh. using that. Don't deny it because, uh, yes, it was you. So I was very happy about that. I was so glad I let you use my computer. Yeah, Where that, were you living at this time? Virginia. You were visiting. Yes, it happened. Okay. That's why I never give your password to anyone, not even relatives, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. <laughs> I mean, if I was just visiting, then clearly I didn't see the phone bill, so. Yeah, Here's that's a funny right. story. I used to actually enjoy the sound of dial-up. When you would yeah. call, yeah. I would like, I would, I would call the number just so I could listen to the. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. used to love Da-dum, it. Da-dum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. So when I was at LSU, I don't know how they do it now, but you'd have to call a number, right, and get ready once it answered to put in a code or whatever to get that particular class. Now, hundreds of other people are doing it at the very same time, and 99 out of 100 times you're going to get that busy signal, right? Right. right. Hang up and do yeah. it again. 
You've done it like 25 times already, and on that 26th time, it rings and you accidentally yeah, hang yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you get in yeah. that routine of yeah. click, hang up, click, hang up, yeah. click, hang up, and then when it finally rings, you're like, oh shit, I just like, oh. Yeah, God, we're just yeah. weird. I, don't, I, I think you're on computer now, before. so I, yeah. I don't think they have that issue, but I remember it was like, oh my God, this sucks. Yeah, kids don't know how good they had it. I remember I used to have to walk through the snow uphill just to use a computer. Me Stop too, it. with no shoes. Yeah, with no shoes. I didn't have no shoes. Yeah. And I was thankful. <laughs> yes, and I was grateful for every minute of yep. the snow that I was walking yep. through. Yeah, lies. Oh, kids, they just don't know how easy they have <laughs> they it. They have no idea. Yep. Silly kids. They got it so easy these days. <laughs> I love that song. It was easy breaking up in the 90s. Do you know what song I'm talking about? Absolutely not. No. It's a country hit. Oh, well, then oh, we definitely that, don't Yeah, know then it. absolutely well, don't Well, the reason why it's great is because, you know, as I listen to it, the lyrics are saying, you know, because when you broke up, you broke up, right? You just didn't answer the phone or, or whatever. And basically now, you stalk people. You can't get away from them, right? They're <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. And, and it just really, I love that song just because it makes you think, you know, we thought we suffered back then, but now, like, you literally can't get away from the person Either you've broken up with her that has broken up with you because they're everywhere. That would have been an awesome story if you had remembered the name of the song. Yeah. <laughs> what you should have did is just said, you got to take a Louisville slugger to both headlights. <laughs> See, that's breaking up too. And that song, everybody would have known. Oh, Lord, y'all drive me crazy. It's breaking up was easy in the 90s. That's Sam the name Hunt. of the song? Sam yes, Hunt. Breaking Up Was Easy in the 90s by Sam Hunt. Yep, never heard it. No. Nope. You don't listen to country, so. That's correct. But um, Well, my, my children do, so that's how I heard it. Oh, but okay. it's, it's just, it brings back memories. And it makes you really think that, you know, right. while technology seems great, sometimes a little less would be nice. Yeah, oh, he doesn't believe. listen to country, but he he understood the Louisville slugger to both headlights, though. Well, just because I don't listen to things doesn't mean I haven't heard things every once right, in a while. Right, right. Uh, in yeah. passing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? See, that's why I do like that song, you have though, to pick some relevant Edward. things, you know, things that are out in the open. It's okay. I'll try to listen to it when we go home. You and your brother have a lot in common digging in dusty old spiderweb basements looking for media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to point out that clearly uh, you two lie. Well, you lie when you say you hate my movie recommendations. Otherwise, you wouldn't be upset that uh, Bodie didn't let you fucking watch them. Uh, so the truth has come out in the last episode. No, 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 no. Yes, I will tell you occasionally if I watch one that I like. But overall, they suck. However... What I say is sometimes one may sound interesting or look interesting where I say, you know what, maybe I'll try this out. I like this particular actor. And Bodie says, fuck no, <laughs> not watch Did you watch Boondock Saints? Or have you already seen it? I don't know. No, we haven't watched it and we're not going to be able to because it just came out of your mouth. <laughs> well, that's what I recommended last week. So what we're, I think the consensus of what we're getting in here is that she lied. Yep. But I am 100% honest. Yeah, no, I didn't say, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I give you, the you, absolute you, I know, truth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I know you don't watch it. No, I watched the show about the, the, chance. the psychic I Thomas. and everything. I Thomas. Oh, yeah, we no, watched it. No, not that red light. light. Yeah, yes. Red light. What was the doo-doo that we watched last week? Red lights that you fell asleep in with. Yes, yeah, that's how I, did. I I thought it was a good movie. Thank you. So good. It was Thank such you. a good movie. And I completely admitted it to you. Yes. Yeah, and you liked Odd Thomas, too. Yes, we. I think you liked Odd Thomas, too, huh? Probably not. <laughs> I'm guessing it's I'm I'm gonna go with not. When he I'm saw f- dead people, that's the sixth sense. Yeah. <laughs> this guy you. also saw dead people. I knew. Oh, he yeah, had the spirits. He? Yeah, yeah. I remember the little. What do you call the little creatures? Bodax. 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 Yeah, yeah, I remember the Bodax. Yeah. Wasn't a fan. Okay. Well. Well, right. But I admit when bad. I like I something, I can tell you that right. I like it. This I conversation is giving me a lot of rage, which is a great segue into work. Road rage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's talk about idiots. Yeah, idiots that drive. <laughs> you want to have a kid. Let's just hand driver's license out. Who has experienced real road rage? Have you? Oh, we well, saw it in Virginia. We did see it in Virginia. Yeah. A guy got out. And he was literally taking his shoe and banging it against somebody's window in Virginia. Yeah. Ooh, we did actually see it in Lafayette following two vehicles. And mm. we were very nervous that mm. somebody was about to get out and shoot somebody. Huh. 
Yeah, because we were at a red light, and somebody apparently felt like someone else cut them off, so they roll their window down and they stick their head, almost their whole body out the window, yelling at the car in front of them. I got my kid in the car. What's wrong with you? Yelling at him, and then the guy peels out. And then the other guy peels out right behind him, and they're following and chasing each other. Yeah, they're cutting in lanes. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, It was was bad. Like, we were nervous. Yeah. But he's like, do not, like, just slow down and do not follow too closely because they were happened to be going the same direction we were going. Yeah. So, but, and that reminds me of the movie Unhinged. Have you ever seen that with no, Russell Crowe? Oh, that, that is that was completely all... about road rage. Right. And it's pretty good because right. it makes you think, you know what? You might want to let shit go <laughs> when you're driving because you never fucking know who is pissed off and how far they're willing to go. Yeah. But I know I have like daily minor road rage. <laughs> I'm not about to shoot anybody, but I curse people out every day that I drive. I find that very easy to believe. You know who the victims of her road rage are? You? Us. <laughs> yeah. Passengers of her own vehicle. Oh, believe. I, I, that is yeah. who suffers the yeah. most from her yeah. road rage. Well, I use each example as uh, learning for my children that are fairly new drivers. Mm. I want them to understand why these people are idiots, <laughs> what they're doing wrong, and how my children should react to them and not do the same thing so that they don't become idiots themselves when they're driving. So you are expecting your children to pull their head out of their phones from Snapchat doing streaks to pay what attention you know to what you're, you're saying <laughs> through all of the F words and dig out the important words from the F words and actually get a life valuable lesson out of it? The F words accentuate the important words. Without the F words, they wouldn't get the importance of the important words. Ooh. That's, that's what I say. It's, that's a, Roger, I say. it's a Rogers oh, thing. Rogers thing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. Chris called that a sentence enhancer. So I would like to just give a couple of examples of things that piss me off when I'm driving. Oh, here we go. Here a we couple, go. huh? Yeah, a couple. couple. <laughs> Warm it up. Now so, we are the victim. <laughs> so the first one would be, you ever driving, and we all, we all know speed traps. I travel through one daily. And uh, a cop has someone pulled over. And you assume it's for speeding because it's in a speed trap. And everybody, of course, has to get to the other lane to, you know, because you yeah. got to give them room, and that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm good with everybody doing that. Good. But all I of got the, a question. Yeah. Does it matter what they're pulled over for? Does no, no. Matter? I'm just saying. Oh, you assume just... it's for speeding because people are stopped there constantly by uh, a department that is known to stop people for speeding regularly so, and to constantly hide. So you're just throwing that in for like some extra. Yeah, yeah. Juicy tidbit. Well, just saying, like, when you know it's a speed <laughs> trap, so you should be watching anyway. All right. You always got somebody stopped there. So, Sorry. anyway, uh, so everybody gets over to the left lane. It, you know, it's a two-lane highway, or I guess a four-lane. But uh, so everybody gets over in the left lane, which is expected. But all of a sudden, everyone, the, you know, or the first car is going five miles below the speed limit. Why? Why is that car going below the speed limit? The cop is busy. They have someone stopped already. And you're not going to get stopped for going below the speed limit, so just do the fucking speed limit. That is not why they're going slow. You don't know why they're going slow? Yeah, supposedly rubbernecking. I know what you're no, saying. No, they're going slow because they want to see. No, that is exactly what I do. They're hoping that the guy that's getting pulled over is going to get mouthed, and the cops can pull him up and slam him down and handcuff him or possibly shoot him in the face. They want to see that. <laughs> they want to see that. Well, if the speed limit is 70 miles an hour, you don't have time to see that. Just right? fucking drive. Which is why you slow down. <laughs> they also want to record it. I mean, I'm just telling you, that is, that is the answer. That okay, is the answer. well, the other <laughs> example that I have that pisses me off is when you're on the same highway, right? And there's yep. two lanes. There's always an idiot in the fast lane who's not going fast. Yep. So we call that a rolling roadblock. <laughs> so I'm in the left lane trying to pass, you know, some of the cars in the right lane, and I'm very good at as soon as I pass a car, I get over into the right lane, you know, until I need to pass the next car. But as I'm passing, now there's a car in front of me, so I can only go so fast. The idiot behind me is riding my bumper. What does this idiot think? Does he think he can push me faster? Does he think that will make the car in front of me go faster? Like, <laughs> what is his logic to ride my fucking bumper? I, I just have one thing to say okay. really quickly. Yep. Rubbin is racing. 
<laughs> now, I didn't, I did not qualify for a race, so he's rubbing the wrong person. They're trying to. Get I you, say that all the time. I yeah. literally say that all the time. They're trying to get you to pull over to the other lane. I have nowhere to go. I'm just saying, that's There's a car on the right of me. There's a car in the front of me. What, I have nowhere to go. That's what they're hoping will happen. I literally go, where do they think they're going to go? There's nowhere else for them to go. Yep. Right. I say that all the time. Yeah. But that's okay. I got one back the other day. Because I was trying to pass somebody, and he decides he's going to go around me and try to cut between us two. So I just made sure he couldn't cut in. Which was pretty dick move of me. But you know what? At least I didn't shoot the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's right. always that. Okay. There's always that. Well, sometimes you just have to get revenge on somebody. Let that's it true. all out. No, that's true. That's true. I eventually passed the car and he was able to go faster, but for a minute he had to be pissed off like me. Well, sometimes she has to stop me when I'm driving. Because when people do ignorant things around me, I would get in front of them and then just slow all the way down to like about 10 miles an hour. Oh, until the same they thing. eventually pass me up and they know that they done messed up. I don't yeah. leave any question in their mind as to whether or not they messed up or not. Right. You know? right. I'll make sure that it's, and then she'll be like, come on, Bodie, what are you doing? We're going to get shot. Yeah. Do you ever, uh, when they pass you, you reach over really exaggerated way into the glove compartment to make it look like you're pulling out? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> No, but I'm very scared to it now. <laughs> I'm just saying, that just, that's just a little cherry on top. Man. That makes him go, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. I am that guy. I, but how, However, I think that I have, to, in my old age now, I have to calm down a little bit. Right. I have to tone things down right. because it's a different world that we live in now. Cool. Correct. And what we think can be just a little fun road rage incident <laughs> can turn very quickly today's world into the, you know, the last day of your life. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. They quick, so, yeah, they quick to pull out a firearm nowadays. Yeah. Yep. We talked about that last episode. Yeah, we I did. Yeah. They just don't fight. They yeah, don't that's right. Fight. Yeah, they don't want to fist fight. They just want to shoot. If yep. I feel like I'm going to lose a fight to you, then I'm just going to shoot you. Anyway. Right. Yeah. That's the best. They want to use gun food. Yeah, gun food. <laughs> Yes. Any, that's it? That's all it takes? Uh, that was the only two okay. examples I had for right. now. Excellent. So Excellent. I, if I had any more, they will be in the upcoming podcast. Heard. Yep, I feel like they will be. We can, we can leave that open. All right. So well. speaking of rage, this is another rage right. thing. Let's do, it. Let's do it. So DoorDash recently sent out a message to their customers um, telling them, before they hit the continue button, after when they give the tip option. So when they're ordering their food or whatever, is that what we're talking about? Correct. So they literally are like, are you sure that you don't want to tip your driver? It might cause delays in you receiving your food. Okay, so you're going to check out, but you left tip at zero. Correct. Because you're paying taxes and for your meal, period. Yeah. Tip at zero, and DoorDash is saying, are you sure you want to continue? Because Correct. that zero tip may cause you to get your food really late. Yeah, it's a threat. Wow. Yep. Yeah, so they give you an alert, an actual, like, when you push the button, yep. they say, wait a minute, just in case you didn't know, your food is not really going to show up on time if you don't tip. Right. Wow. Because the way DoorDash works is they don't pay their employees enough money to live off of. They're expecting the people that they deliver to to pay them, you know, which is the way most tip. I mean, waitresses, everybody knows waitresses sure. make like $2 an hour, you know. And so that's the same thing for them, which I think should be against the law. I don't care if you make tips or not. You should make minimum wage. It's called minimum wage for a reason. I think every company that exists should have to pay their employees at least minimum wage, no matter what, whether they receive tips or not. Right. You know, so I mean, and you know, I understand why a driver who's using their own vehicle, paying their own gas, paying for their own upkeep, making fucking two dollars an hour, does not want to deliver food to a house that they know is not going to tip. Yeah, because they don't get mileage and you they know? don't get gas. Yeah, I mean, I understand well, why. Wait, this is a different way of being employed than what we're used to. This is outside mm -hmm. of the box, right? Yep. <clears throat> there are no hours that you actually work. You can turn your phone on mm -hmm. and take mm -hmm. orders when you want. And you Correct. can turn it off and not take them when you don't want Correct. to. Correct. So how exactly do they get paid at all? Uh, do they get paid per run that they make? 
They, what is the amount of money that they make per run? Do we know all these details? Well, the thing is, it's different for each. It's different for each run because um, I used to work for waiter. Which is not DoorDash. Which is not DoorDash, <laughs> but it is a food. It was it's a, a similar food, company. It was right. a food delivery company that changed from waiter to ASAP, right. which is now going pretty much under. And um, does does <laughs> waiter also have this warning that says if you don't tip your driver? They don't have the warning, but everybody pretty much it went around. Like Lafayette, Lake Charles, anywhere that delivered, that waiter delivered, and they or when it changed to ASAP, if you don't tip, we're gonna let your food sit. I mean, and which is bullshit because it's not your fault, but they're also not getting paid. I know with waiter they were only getting like three thirteen an hour. They at the beginning they were getting mileage, and then they stopped giving them mileage. So the question that I had was. Are they actually getting paid hourly wage? So if if I'm on the DoorDash app and I'm an employee, I turn my app on to be able to accept mm -hmm. calls. From the moment that I turn that on, am I getting paid hourly wage? You're only getting three. Th uh, well, no, you only get it if you're delivering. Okay, so I think, and please, if I get the figures wrong, it was total by accident. We knew someone, and I guess it was about a year and a half to two years ago, that worked for DoorDash in St. Mary Parish. And what she said was she got paid $4 a delivery, okay? So what happens is, Chris, if you say, I'm going to tip $5 for this delivery. Well, DoorDash says, oh, $4 is what you make. So we're going to take $4, and that's going to be your fee. You get a dollar tip. So this person was saying, we're getting screwed if you tip on the app. Oh, Correct. Okay. Please don't tip on the app so that I get my $4 from DoorDash. Right. Tip Give me, me whatever you want to tip when yep. I get to you with your food. Right. Okay. But apparently now that has backfired because people are just not tipping at all. They're, you know, and now the drivers have no idea. Is it worth driving 20 minutes? Am I right. going to get a tip? Right. You know, so now is it better to be guaranteed a tip so I, at least I know I'm going to make this much money if I go? Or is it, you know, like, because so many people now have come to the conclusion that tipping is optional. And technically, tipping is optional. No, literally but, it's optional. No, but I mean, <laughs> people who understand Servers, yes, yes, you no, know, we should tip. know that that is how those people make a living. They right. do not get paid for their work. Right. Tips pay for them to make a living. Right. So, in other words, if I go out to eat with my family to a nice restaurant, I'm expecting to tip. Correct. Because that is included in the meal, in my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But some people are literally thinking now. You know what? Food is too expensive. That server works there. They're getting paid to work there. I don't have to tip. Yeah. And, and Correct. You know, no, that is right. That is what they think. Yeah. It's eventually going to go where either people are finally going to play, going to pay their servers, and you know, people in that line of industry, or there's not going to be a yeah. service industry. That's yeah. right. I, I think the latter is. I more think is what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to pay the people a, a living wage. And that doesn't only, it, that it, doesn't only go to service. It goes to bartenders. No, that's it right. Goes to the service industry. No, the yeah. service industry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, the more inflation increases, the less willing people are going to be to tip. And at some point, they're going to be not willing to even go out and get fast right. food or anything. You know. I mean, so, if you would see, I, I read this stuff on Facebook all the time, and it it pisses me off because I. I don't like to just engage in when I know it's going to be an argument, so I just don't say anything. But the amount of people that say, well, I went to a restaurant and my budget was $60, and the ticket ended up being $75, I wasn't really paying attention to prices. So, yeah, I only left a $5 tip because I was already over budget. Well, dumbass, why didn't you look at prices when you were ordering? And how is that the server's fault that you were over budget? So you cheat her out of her yep. cut? You know, yep. she still did the work. And it's stuff like that or people who say that, you know, well, I don't understand. You shouldn't expect me to tip you. I don't care how good you did. You know, that's my choice if I want to tip you or not. It, it's just completely unbelievable. No, the, yeah. Really quickly, as a liberal point of order, I have to tell you, why is the server automatically a her? 
Well, because I'm a her, so that's why I'm saying her. And be I don't careful. call people it. I'm just saying be careful. I don't call people it or them or they. The. The server. Just say the server. <laughs> the bless you. Thank you. Right. Okay, sure. The server. I was making a liberal point of order. They don't usually make sense, so you just have to understand. <laughs> that's what I was doing. So, yeah, I foresee, you know, because I have slight psychic abilities. Because you know far. everything. Yeah. That yes. uh, the, yeah, as if things continue on with no changes, the service industry will eventually go away. Yes, as we know it. Sure. Yep. We are. You heard in, it here, folks. Folks. Yeah, they they probably already knew it because Correct. they pay their grocery bills. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> right. Anybody yeah. who buys gas knows that shit is not going well. Simple as that. And we're not. We're trending in that same direction. You know, we're trending in a. Shit is getting more and more expensive direction. Because as we said before on this particular program, it doesn't go back down. The prices of anything doesn't go back down. Once it raises to a certain threshold, it will stay in and around that threshold mm -hmm. until it goes higher than that to the next threshold. Right. Well, I mean, there is literally a phone <laughs> recording of C some CEOs talk, you know, talking about raising grocery prices. And they're saying they love inflation because they can raise their prices even higher than inflation because the common man doesn't know the difference. Right. And, and they literally said, we ain't never giving these prices back. Right. We're going to keep them high no right. matter what. It's the inflation so, yeah. inflation. Yeah, yeah. It never, yeah, inflation only goes one way. It never goes down. Right. Ever. Yep. yep. That's correct. We have to start a new business. <laughs> and when we start our own business, we can charge whatever prices we want. That's right. Yep. And if people can curse us for uh, treating our employees like shit. That's right. We He's could raise, we could, we could get the government to subsidize our employees by saying that they only earn tips and we don't have to pay them anything. Well, I, I do, think you still have to pay them something. You just have to pay them very yeah, but little. Yeah, not if we little, get yeah. the government to say we don't have to. <clears throat> well, you know, now that you bring it up, I actually do want to start a business. I've do been you? thinking about it for quite a while, yeah. I uh, think about every single time I leave the house uh, <laughs> because uh, I constantly see, uh, you know, I don't have any kids. You know. Woohoo! Right. So I constantly see other people with kids who, for some reason, I guess because they want to be their kid's friend rather than their parent, they don't correct them. Yep, so the yep. kid's running around, being a little hellion, making a lot of noise, ruining my day. Right. You know, and I don't have no fucking kids. So, Tugging on your pants. Yeah, kids. exactly. Running past me, screaming. Sticking I, you know, their gum in your head. Yeah. So fucking wow, bad kids. So, uh, <laughs> oh, they got some bad ones. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure, and you know, you look at the parents and they're like, they try to correct, you know, say, hey, come on, stop it. And the kid's like, eh, hey, you don't tell me what to do, right. you know. We actually saw a kid so, slap his mom yeah, in the restaurant Yeah, we saw before. a kid slap his mom in the restaurant, yeah, in, awesome. on the face. So, it made me realize I need to start my own business. Okay. Okay, because if you don't want to correct your kid because you want to still be their friend and you don't want to hurt their feelings and all that, that's where I come in, right? Me and my company. This bad it's, kid daycare? Yes, well, <laughs> it's called Spanx for Thanks. Okay. Okay, so, that sounds kind of like a pedophile. Well, it does. Company. But uh, <laughs> oh. what happens is, um, I will spank your kid. I will whip your kid's ass for you so that uh, you can get all the results without the guilt. Okay. For thanks. You just yeah, do they it will. For thanks. Yeah, all they have to do is say thanks, Chris. No, 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 they will. You're not gonna no. make a lot of money. They gonna pay. <laughs> oh, they gonna pay. <laughs> but they will also be thankful because that kid will listen because I got a belt. Spanks for thanks. Yeah. No, no. Part of spanking a kid is saying this is going to hurt me much more than it hurts you. No, it won't because it's not my kid. No, no that's part of a parent's well pleasure in spanking their child. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's going to make you a lot of money though because you, they can just call the police department to spank their kid. That's true. You know, I was dumbfounded when I heard the story, so please tell our <laughs> listeners because they're going to be dumbfounded as well. I cannot believe this. I know. This, this is the this greatest is, thing I've ever heard. This is I'm one of the most joking. amazing cop stories I have ever heard in my life. Take it away, sir. Yeah. When, when I was a law enforcement officer, we did occasionally get calls from residents that would request that we would spank their children. We would discipline their children. <laughs> Front door. And it... I, again, I'm I'm not sure of the legalities of the whole situation, honestly, because I had to go through protocols when I first did it the first time and asked my lieutenant, you know, who was in charge at the time, what am I supposed to do with the situation? Obviously, he was familiar with the, the, the family home that we were going to, and it had been done on previous occasion. They had, I don't know if they had signed some type of waiver saying that it was okay or whatever. I don't know. But understand that when I went to this house, 
It was an elderly grandparent who was raising a younger child, and the younger child was stronger or more powerful than the grandparent was, and so when she would go to discipline the child, he would just push her away or overpower her, so she was unable to do so. Yeah. So she would call the police department to come and discipline the child for her. And when I would get there, I would just have to take all of my duty gear off and put the gun belt down and take off my underbelt, <laughs> and I would whip the child with my underbelt, and... The, the grandparent was there standing right there watching the entire thing and would tell me when to start and when to stop and would be, <laughs> also, would be also giving the child correction. Now, we wouldn't have to do this if you wouldn't have done this, this, or this. You know, next right. time, don't do this and I won't have to call, I, we won't have to do this. You know, just telling them why they're being whipped at the time that they're being whipped. And then she would say, okay, that's enough. I would say, okay. I would put all my gear back on, and I would get back in my car and drive back down the road. And this was a request that was made by the the, the homeowner, the, the, the grandparents. She would literally call the dispatcher and say, I need a police officer to come to my house to whip my child. And so, again, I don't know. I think the statute of limitations is probably up. So if it was illegal, I think I'm okay to tell people that it happened. But uh, it, it was it was something that we did. And we did it on a regular basis. That is crazy to me. I mean, yeah. that is like. Yeah. Did you ever like when she was like, "That's enough"? Did you ever be like, "Well, I still got a little left in the tank"? <laughs> if you were to keep going. No, no, I did not. I did not. I uh, I obeyed her wishes full heartedly, and she was always very grateful when it was over and would say, "Thank you, I appreciate it so much." And the kid would, of course, be crying. In the oh yeah, no doubt. You know. Did you pull his pants down? No. Thank God. <laughs> No, That'd be a whole new camp. This is not the pedophile. Then it would be illegal. Then it would have been illegal. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. it's thanks for thanks, you know. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I was thinking about using that business for another thing, too. I think that would be, I think that'd be a better name be to that. They, they co- they co- this company just branches out in different directions. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be more of an OnlyFans type of area. <laughs> call the call line. Hi, I may I help you? How can I direct your call? Yeah, I'd like the uh, adult department, please. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, the adult spanks the face. <laughs> exactly. My wife needs a good spanking. Well, you came to the right place. Or I would like to say thanks for you spanking <laughs> yourself. Okay. <laughs> it could go all kinds no, of ways. No, it's a lot of, yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of money to be made. He didn't, so. think, he didn't think about it when he came up with the name. No, 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 I, I did think about it. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he thinks about it every day. There's a lot of money to be made in, in this. Or in a lot of one? thanks. All of them. <laughs> See, I think you're asking for thanks. You're not asking for money. If spanks for thanks, you know what I'm saying? No, when you spank, no, when you spank an adult, they're supposed to say thank you every time you do it. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yeah, but exactly. you put the S on thanks as a dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, how you it do is. That. Yeah. Okay. And the spanks dollar sign. No, every yeah, okay. every other is a dollar sign. In other yeah. words, gotcha. read between the lines. Yep. All right. Like that's it. slick. Yeah. I like that. That makes more sense. Yeah. However, and, you know, again, I don't know if the police department is allowed to do what I did or not, but that's what happened. <laughs> well, you know, I've seen a lot of shows on A&E uh, where police departments did a lot of things they weren't allowed to do. Well, times uh, are different now, right? <laughs> yeah. We used to do yeah. a lot of things, a lot of things that would probably, you would never catch them anyone doing. No, right? yeah, yeah. But most of it was just trying to serve the community that we were working sure, for. Sure, sure. It was never, you know malicious in nature it was just us trying to and we would be we would be father and disciplinarian and preacher right and we would be psychiatrists sometimes and have to talk people to, i mean there was so many jobs that we had now you probably can't even get them to get out of the car right. and not to say that i would blame them to be honest with yeah. you yeah because even if you do a perfect job perfect pristine where you should be pinned a medal on your chest they will still persecute you like the devil Correct. And that's terrible. That's a yep. terrible situation. Right. Well, you know what's funny about your story is I remember when I was a reserve officer and we were working a basketball game and somebody's kid was running around the court and the lady said, you better be careful, I'm going to get that police officer to get you. And the police officer I was working with said, you really shouldn't let them say that. You know, you should then go to the kid and introduce yourself, 
make sure they understand police officers are friends. That's correct. But now I know that apparently some parents really called the police to get their to get kids. You. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Some people called the police to get their kids. That's correct. But you understand the, what the person was trying to say. No, right? I, I mean you wouldn't. You don't want to introduce a fear of law enforcement into your children. That's right. not something. Yeah. No, right. right. I agree, but right. I just didn't know that that actually happened. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that blew my mind. Right. That blew my mind. Yeah. That that would never happen in California. No, that would never you happen. Did. I, knew, I told you that when it happened because I was shocked to myself. I was like, holy crap, I can't believe. You yeah, were like, were sure you this, like, this is the greatest job about. ever. I can't believe I'm getting no, paid to do this. No, I've already that... told you about the moment where I thought <laughs> you know, I thought the maybe you had more than one moment like that. Okay. <laughs> I would have felt right. guilty because I would have felt bad for the Yeah, kid. I didn't I didn't really go all out, honestly. Yeah. Yes, because he most definitely is not the disciplinarian. Not. Hmm. She's right. When you were mentioning earlier about parents that just want to be their child's friend, yeah. I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bodie uh, had to learn the lesson <clears throat> to not answer his kids if they asked him for something because he realized that I would say no, and so uh, they would go to him, and he'd always he'd say, say yes. yes. Yeah. So he had to learn that, um, no, no, you, you can't ask me. You, If mom says no, it's no. Or don't ask him first. He Shopping, for, him. Answers. Yep. Shopping oh, yeah. for answers. Oh, yeah. But it took him a couple years to learn that. But that little blonde one, though, she don't even ask mom. She just comes straight to the source. <laughs> she knows. You know? Right. Why she, go yep. digging in the salt shaker right. when I can go right to the cookie jar? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And that's what she does. She is something. <laughs> she knows that she got me wrapped around that pinky finger, and it's terrible for me. She got you. Yeah, I, just wanna, I, wanna, I just want to tell a story about your kids because uh, I think about this story a lot. It's fucking an amazing story. I don't know how old your kids were. They were young, you know, preteens. So you know, I don't know, like maybe seven, something like that. I don't know. All six of them? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it was Taylor and uh, it might have been was it Reese? I'm not. I, I'm not sure. But Taylor was one of them for sure. And I remember they were uh, they were pretending. They were playing pretend. So they had no toys. They were just, just their imagination. And they were pretending that they were preparing food. Okay? And uh, it was two boys. And they had prepared a plate of food. I forgot what, you know, what, I don't know what it was. A plate of spaghetti or whatever. So they had a plate of food. So one of them went to pick up the food and walk off with it. And the other one grabbed the imaginary plate of food and fucking pulled it back. <laughs> and the other one, the other one actually moved his own phone. Like he, like he like got struggling. Like, and so they were going back and forth and getting mad at each other, almost starting to cry. Because they were fighting over an imaginary plate of food. I remember just watching them going, I cannot believe this is actually happening right now. This is the greatest yeah. day ever. If we'd had cell phones back then, it just would have no been the kidding. greatest video ever. <laughs> fighting over imagination. I'm still glad we didn't have them back then. It was probably Dakota and Taylor. It might have been Dakota and Taylor, yeah. Oh, Hilarious, though. That was one of the greatest days of my life. <laughs> like, I like, I can't imaginary play I can't like, you know, fighting over something that doesn't even exist. Kids are great, yeah. man. They yeah. have the greatest imagination. No, yep, they yep. can just make things out of nothing. Yep. It's, it's really oh, it was, yeah, fantastic. Pretty crazy. Fantastic. I'm I'm actually glad that cell phones in their current state didn't exist back in that time. Correct. I, my life may have panned out a whole lot differently than it has today <laughs> because there was a lot of dumb things that I did that if we're caught on video, I may have uh, altered life path. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thankful that they didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. Chris wishes they still didn't exist. Yeah, I'm not a fan <laughs> of them now. So, well, that's all right. All right, so <clears throat> let's talk about something that I found out about this week, which uh, also blew my mind. And that is that um, they are going, they have decided. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Craziness. The American Ornithological Society, I believe is the name of the group, that, you know, presides over stuff in, you know, North America, Canada. They want, they have decided that uh, several bird names are racist. Okay. Wait, birds. Bird names. Like a canary. Right. Right. Like a cardinal. Right. So that, they're thinking that the name of the species and genus and type of bird, the scientific, is is racist. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yep, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Really? So uh, it's the American Ornithological Society. They announced that all common English language names of bird species named after people will be changed. Along with other monikers that have been deemed offensive, in total, approximately 70 to 80 birds, primarily in the U.S. and Canada, 
will be renamed. What birds are named after people? Well, um... Like, I've I'm, never heard of a Mike bird. No, 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 no. Um, I knew you were going to ask me that, and I didn't write down that. I actually did look up... Uh, okay, Hammond's Flycatcher, for example. Oh, so the... Oh, the, the popular Hammond's Flycatcher. No, no, <laughs> right. So, like, Audubon. Everybody, Audubon, the guy who... Oh, uh, yeah. You know, you know, New everybody. Orleans. That that drew all the you know the crazy looking illustrations of birds and stuff. Correct. Uh, he had some stuff named after him that's going to go away. They're saying they want more basically diversity, equity, inclusion in bird names. So the way I'm taking it is uh, they just want to change the name of all the birds that were named after white people. Wow. I mean, honestly, that's what it comes down to. You know, um, ridiculous. So, do you have an example of one of the birds that they're fighting to change the name? I of? just said. Hammond's Hammond fly flycatcher is one. So I knew he was gonna, you know what? I thought I need to write down all the names of these birds, but I didn't know. I don't know. I you think, don't know who think, Hammond is. Well, I mean, the Why only, is he racist? The only Hammond I know is John Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic racism. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, yeah, like I was told that uh, the, the name Cardinal is going to be changed because it references religion. Well, how is that racist? I don't Religion know. Is I'm racist. just telling you. I'm just yes. telling you. I don't understand. So it's and I just want to point out it's a woman leading this charge. The woman, oh, is, well, the, which explains a lot. So it's so, not just a woman. It's well, a no, woman. it's not just a woman. But yeah, I would have paid money to be in the meeting where they were discussing actually following through with this because they must have had been an amazing conversation. Well, you know, I mean, I guess uh, we can no longer uh, say uh, N word, Sparrow. <laughs> you know, I guess we can't say that anymore. That name, that, that name, that name's definitely getting changed. I don't think I ever yeah. said that's that. because it doesn't oh exist. God. Because they don't have racist bird names. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. It's ridiculous. So, okay, I thought so, you were saying that it was a real name. No, and you just no. Made it up right, of course. I, the, okay. the, <laughs> the Lewis woodpecker. Okay. Apparently, there's a bunch of like Wilson's warbler, Wilson's snipe. Um, yeah, that Wilson, he was a huge Yeah, racist. but who is the people? The How Eskimo do... curlew Whoa. and the Inca dove, because clearly that's horrible. How do they get to racism, though? Well, I know... Just because Audubon, you said so? Audubon yes, that Shearwater is... Exactly. Yep. That's, is um, that's the name of the bird for Audubon. Yeah, Audubon, Audubon Shearwater. Shearwater. Yep. They said that he's... Um, they're changing the name because he's known to be have ties to white supremacy. So they also said that we've come to the understanding that there are certain names that have offensive or derogatory connotations that cause people pain and that it's important to change those to remove as barriers to the participants in the world of birds. Wow. Okay, well, three birds not named for people are getting name changes. The flesh-footed shearwater, the Eskimo curlew, and the Inca dove. The word flesh may imply that all, or at least normal skin, re resembles that of white people. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. That's and exactly so if that I say word. flesh, that's right. racist. That's, an, that's and a racist word. they went on to explain that Eskimo is a derogatory term among Inui and Yupik people, and that the yeah, Inca right. dove is an erroneous name coming from profound confusion of the geographic locations of the historic Inca and Aztec cultures. I mean, I could understand if we were talking about the wetback finch or something like that. Then right. I'm like, well, something maybe, maybe, really, really maybe we need to change that sure. name. That name could be changed. But, yeah, I guarantee you 100% there was never a time when somebody said a bird's name and someone got offended by it. That never, ever, ever happened. No. Ever. What this is is that person and that society's attempt at being relevant, trying to make the news, trying to be important, trying to be in the spotlight. That's such garbage. Just anything that you decide you want to deem as racism, you can deem it as racism. No, that's right. And it's so, oh, it's so annoying. I don't, I don't understand that that mindset where they try to like change the name of something to make it sound less offensive. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Like, like for example, one thing that they've done for years now, which annoys the crap out of me, is whenever someone's handicapped, and they don't want you to say handicapped anymore, they want you to say handy capable, as if that makes what's wrong with them. Any better. It doesn't change a fucking thing right. about how they have to live their life. No, because basically you're saying there's nothing wrong with them. And the truth is there is something, there wrong. Is something right. wrong with them. And the thing about being handicapped is you get certain accommodations. Right. So you do want to be recognized, recognized as handicapped. Right. And I know this because I have three special needs children. Right. 
I mean, if you're in bed with a woman, now I'm going to explain how stupid all this is. I'm going to end this argument right now. You're in bed with a woman. I like it already. You can't get it up. I don't oh. give a listen. I don't give a shit how liberal she is. She is not going to tell you that you're erectile discapable. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not going to happen. Okay. She's erectile. Gonna, erectile yeah, challenge. That's that's when the rubber's going to move the road. She's going to say, "Get up or get out." She's not going to try to make it sound better. And does the rubber literally hit the road? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. When it's a real world scenario, then fucking liberal PC language is not going to fucking count. Guarantee it. So that ends that argument. That's oh why it's all God. stupid. Oh, it's so stupid. It's on the next level of stupid. I just can't. And, and I told my mother this the other day. I am so tired of waking up each new day and hearing some news such as this and saying, I can't believe that's true. That's just, that's just, it's fiction. Right. It can't be true. That's right. That's so unbelievable and so ridiculous that it just can't be true. And then finding out that it is indeed true. That people are so ignorant <laughs> and so stupid that they actually push this agenda. Yep. Uh, well, I have a question. So if cardinal is being changed because it's offensive, because it's religious, does that mean all the freaking schools and sports teams will now also have to change their names? Because that's a lot of yep. fucking changes. Well, if you change the name of the actual red colored bird that is called a cardinal, then if you have a team that is called the Arizona Cardinals, then they really are the Arizona nothing. Because the Cardinals don't exist. Well, it's going to be a new name, but yeah. Look, yeah, do they can they the can they decide Arizona to keep Red oh, it, it, could, bird. it could also be the Arizona bird formerly known as Cardinal. Yes, that's what they could yes. be. Yes, bird formerly the known birds as Cardinals. formerly known as Cardinals. Yes, or the Commanders. <laughs> <laughs> I have another word, but I don't want to get canceled. Yes, don't get canceled. Yep. We're not, we're not, we're not there yet. We're I just don't see people that. actually using. Yeah, this. nobody's I mean, gonna go. Yeah, they're gonna this. change the name. I'm still gonna call a freaking hummingbird a hummingbird. Yep. And a cardinal a cardinal. I mean. Yeah, I don't care what you change. Exactly. When I see it in the wild. I'm gonna say, look at that, cardinal. Somebody, uh, I saw a Reddit post. Somebody said, uh, I, I don't care if they change the names. I am not gonna go along with it. I'm still gonna call a robin a robin. I don't care what Robin Leach did. <laughs> So, oh, I don't know who great. said that, but uh, I just had to say it because that was a funny joke. Yes, that's great. <laughs> I love it. I don't care what Robin Leach did. Or Batman's sidekick. I don't care what he did either. True. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Yeah. I think, and I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Sure. Big Penis something. What is, what is the big <laughs> name? <laughs> big Dick Chris. Big Dick Chris. Whoop. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, yep. Mr. Mr. Dick. Yep, you can, call me, you can call me BD for short. Oh, BD, BD. All right. It, I think we're about the time where we have to figure out what's going on in Reagan's head. Is All that right. incorrect? No, that's not incorrect. I think uh -uh. we are at that time. Oh, did she come I up with that? I don't on? have much she, going on she in doesn't have the, Oh, Oh, that is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. You, you do have something in your head. Oh. We're not doing proper planning. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know if you'd really call this crazy but, oh, but so there's, this, sure we would. there's this yeah. new freaking if it's in your head it's crazy there's this new freaking i don't know if you call it fad or but you know how schools sports clubs all that they constantly have fundraisers right well, i remember when we were young we sold candy right walked around with a box you you got half the money you kept for your club the other half paid for the candy whatever that, like right. that was pretty much the biggest fundraiser a lot of people did like baked goods you sold that kind of stuff now the new fundraiser is here's a calendar pick a date you pay that much for the date so if today's november 5th and i decided okay i'm picking november 5th i pay five dollars some people may say i'm picking two dates november 10th and november 20th so that equals thirty dollars how fucking lazy is this? Because you don't even go pick up the payment. You just send the payment electronically. Like, literally you, now. What do you get in return? Do you own the day? You get like, your name written on that I'm day. I'm just wondering, if I buy November 10th, do I <laughs> own the 10th? Like, do they hang a banner up in the school and say, this is Big Dog, Big Dog Day? 
No, basically that kid that you have bought the tenth from writes your name so nobody else can buy the tenth. That's it. So I get my name written down. Just on that kid's calendar, on, on whoever he sh he or she shares it with. That's fine. So yeah, they, they do basically zero work because pretty much the parents correct and their Facebook friends are advertising for them. So they do zero work and I get nothing in return for That's my correct. money. That is completely well, correct. You get no wrapping paper. You get no cookies. You get no nothing. Turkeys. Well, guess what they get? Nothing. No. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't have that's it. terrible. No. But let me let me be the devil's advocate in this room, and let me play the other team for a little bit. Our local government does not subsidize these programs enough for them to get by without fundraising. Correct. So the music program and the the band and the you know high school sports and things. School board doesn't have enough money to fully subsidize all of these schools in order to get all of the equipment and things that they need. So they have to supplement by doing fundraisers. So this is why these things exist today. I don't think that they should. I think that they should be fully supported by the school board. But they, they, we just don't have enough money there because all of the politicians are putting it in their pockets. Facts. But that's why the fundraisers are necessary. Now... Should those fundraisers be equally beneficial to you and the child and the school? Yes. Should they be begging, just walking around door to door saying, here, give me $10? No. I think it should be something that teaches them capitalism, something that teaches them commerce, so that they can understand they're going to market a product in exchange for currency, that they will then use to re to fund their particular <laughs> activity. Yeah, but they don't even walk door to door now. No, like they literally well, do you don't nothing. Have to do that with social media. Yeah, J social media does that for you. But just the example of something in exchange for something, not something in exchange for nothing. Well, that's that's basically just beggar. Um. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm. I, to me, I do not. I do not support begging. Yeah. Show me that you're willing. Do a car wash. I'll pay a ridiculous amount of money for some chocolate because at least you're out there pushing it. You're going to deliver it to me, whatever, uh, you know, and I know what cause it's going to. But uh, football is a very popular thing. This past weekend, I bought a square for football. It cost me 20 bucks. I pretty much knew I wasn't going to win, and I didn't, and that was fine. But that was my, you know, I'm giving you all this money to go toward whatever, and somebody's going to win. That's great. It doesn't have to be me, but that's how I support. And at least I have a chance. I'm gambling on sure. winning some money. Yeah, even if you don't have a physical return on your investment, you still have the potential or Correct. Uh, yeah, potential return. You know, it doesn't exactly have to be a kinetic return. Right. <laughs> well, the solution to that is uh, homeschool your kids. Don't let them go to public school. That's a whole other conversation that we you don't have time no, to get into right now. That's but, far too hard to do. But, this, uh, public school. No, it's not. No. Public schools, no. What do you mean, no okay, schools, first yes. of all, you don't have kids. Right, which is why I have all the That's answers. That's why you have all That's the right answers. That's why I have all the answers. Second yeah. of all, you I failed didn't, two grades. I didn't fuck up. You so, failed two grades. I can tell you how it is. So, yeah, but I chose to do it. You I, chose to fail Yeah, I, I, I chose, chose well, to fail The second time I had to choose to fail my fucking teacher fucked me. But that's another story we talked about another day. Well, but I failed the first time because I was like, fuck this. I don't give a fuck. Because I realized that it was school is prison. Prison kids and it's fucking indoctrination center. And I knew that even then. Oh, my God. Calm down. I'm just saying. Wow, you know what? I, I and I know that this is a little extra, but I gotta say this because it drives it, it really just blows my mind. My head literally explodes when I think about it. There are teenage young adults, nineteen, twenty, somewhere in that neighborhood, in universities in this country that are literally walking around wearing swastikas on their shoulder. And saying death to Jews, kill all the Jews, death to the Jews. This is something that in the past would have been looked at as anti Semitic and bordering on the level of criminal, where they surround these these kids in these universities and yell in their face. Physically and prevent them Physi from moving. Like legitimately, this is this is legitimately happening. Yeah. And no nothing is going nothing is fixing it. And it's all at 
the upper the echelon Ivy League. of the Ivy League schools. It's on video. Harvard, like it's not like we don't know who did it Cornell and it's still word against and his. Berkeley. Yeah. You know, the upper supposedly the brightest minds in our country. <laughs> and why is that? Because of the word that you just said, indoctrination. That's what's happening. These universities are filling our youth with ridiculous things in their brain. Yep. Best thing I can tell anyone who has the time to listen to me speak, talk to your kids. Tell them the reality of the world. Don't let someone else teach them. That's the best thing That's right. you can do. That's Just right. Jesus, the things that are going on today yeah. is unreal. We'll have to, to talk me. about that maybe next episode. Yeah, I, yeah, I know that's, that's a long, a long thing, topic. That's a long but topic. But I just saw that and yeah, I sure, had to say sure. the fact that sure. they're literally wearing graphic descriptions yeah. of the swastika yeah. on yeah. their clothing yeah. overtly like they don't even care. It's unreal to me. Yep. Unreal. Anyway, it's sad. sorry yeah. that I, no. I, I took us down no. that level. But no, that's, no, that's sad. Yep. When you said the word indoctrination, that's just the first thing that flashed in my brain, and I said, I cannot believe this is this is really happening. It's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. I want to share a memory real quick. It's like just real quick. So I always tell my kids, especially when I was driving them back and forth to school, about current events. I always wanted them to be in the know. And I remember when Tanner was in junior high, driving them home from school one day saying, look, y'all might hear about this virus in China. A lot of people are dying. So, you know, you might hear about it from teachers or whatever, but don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> the very next week, everything was canceled. <laughs> we were out of school for the next two years. Yeah. But it, I just remember how crazy it was, reassuring them, you might hear right. about it, everything's okay. And we had no idea. Right. And then next week, guess what? No more school. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we were all saying this will be over in weeks. No, I remember thinking, yeah, next well, month, everybody's going to rip. Yeah, everybody's going to rip. Yep. Everybody's gonna rip. That. yep. Oh, that's a whole other yeah. conversation, too. Yeah, that's another we're getting, thing, Yeah. But, you know. All right. That's good. Cool. I think we've, cool. we've we've extended ourselves a lot, and we've only barely touched subjects that probably have a lot more to be talked about on those things. Right, Chris so. has a yep. movie. Let me go ahead and that recommend like a movie. To tell yep. us about yep. now. It's another foreign film. It's on another foreign film in there. So. Okay, I just want to say this. Yep. We are Americans. Yep. And we are in America. Yep. So just keep that in mind. America your recommendations. Is, a, is a boiling pot of uh, no, different cultures. Also understand. Okay. We are the United States of Mexico now. No, that is also true. So that is also you true. cannot <laughs> say we are Americans and true. we are in America. <laughs> in this house, and we speak English because not are all pro -America. there are the majority of this country now probably speaks Espanol. Well, I don't know Espanol. So you will have to learn. <laughs> all right. So the movie that I am recommending is a western. Uh, of course, everybody knows the very famous Clint Eastwood Western, possibly the most famous Western of all time. The, the good, best the, one. Yeah. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. Uh, that's uh, funny that y'all both like that movie, and I've never seen it. It's actually very good. Oh, my God. But, but I can't believe you two agree on a movie. Well, this because it's amazing. Now, I don't believe it's the greatest Western ever made. The greatest Western ever made is Rio Bravo starring John Wayne. But this one is right at the top of the list. This is definitely in the top okay. five. So there is a Korean Western, if you can believe that. A Korean Western called The Good, The Bad, The Weird, which has a little play on, you know, a little play on that. Um, so it's a knockoff. No, it's not a knockoff, but it ha it kind of ends the same way with a with a with a three person gunfight at the end. That's I guess that's why. Mm -hmm. So this movie was made in two thousand and eight, and of course, being an overseas Asian action movie, it means it has a fuck ton of crazy action scenes in it. Which really lend well to fucking westerns. People swinging on fucking cables, shooting at each other, stuff like that. Crazy stuff. So uh, basically, the plot is that um, there's a treasure map that uh, different people find out about, and they're trying to steal it. You know, different bad guys. One gang of bad guys is trying to steal it, and they get it. And another gang of bad guys wants it, so they fight them for it. And then there's some. There's a good guy. He's a bounty hunter that's chasing down. Some of the bad guys, so he finds out about, and it's just a whole bunch of people fighting over this map, you know, changing hands and getting lost, and they're, they're shooting at each other to stop each other from getting it and stuff. And it's just like, it's a lot of action. It's, it's a it's a ton of action. It's a lot of shooting. There's some comedy in it. It's you know, it gets kind of silly in parts, but not not in a goofy way. You know, silly in a fun way. And uh, just you know, it has a nice little ending with you know three uh, three uh, person duel. You know, which is why it's called the good, the bad, and the weird. And of course, it's you know, it's called that because there's crazy fucking characters, and uh, it's just it's a lot of fun. 
It's a lot of fun. That was, this was a movie that I actually saw on the shelf in Best Buy, and I just bought it. Never having heard of it before, so I just had a good feeling about it, and I was right. It's, it's fucking amazing. The one, right. one of the very few times he's done that. Yeah, I, I rarely do that, but I just, I don't know, I just had a good, it just, there were vibes coming off that Blu-ray. Buy me. And, uh, the good, the bad, the good, and the, the bad. No, it's not the good, the bad, and the weird. It's just the good, the bad, the weird. Yeah, because uh, they don't want to get sued for yeah. copyright. Yeah. Right. So, I don't think they give a fuck. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they give a fuck. <laughs> but anyway, so highly recommend it. If you like westerns, you should definitely check it out. A lot, a lot of action. So, Three stars. <laughs> but it's in Korean? Yes, unfortunately it's, it is it's, Korean. You yes. have to, it's it got subtitles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. You have to speak a different language to watch it. No, <laughs> I watch stuff that's dubbed. I, I don't want to read a movie. Yeah. yeah. It, it is dubbed, though. Is it? I don't yes, know. Yes, it was dubbed. Uh, I don't remember it being dubbed. We watched it dubbed it on um, Ashton's house. Did we? Okay. Yes. I don't recall that, but maybe so. Because okay. some certain person couldn't read it because the could type have. was so small. Oh, yeah. It's well, terrible. Anyway. I don't recommend Why don't it, you so. just recommend the book? <laughs> oh my god, we're going to do that again. Well, since, uh, since fucking people listen to watch the goddamn closed captions on anyway, whether it's in English or not, it shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be. An it issue, should not right. be an issue for a majority of people. That's Those correct. people don't listen to us yet. Well, that's, that's true. true. That's true. That's right. not yeah. true. That is not true. Oh, actually, that's that's correct. In the analytics, Ashton. in the analytics, uh, that age range actually is pretty high for for listeners. But so. Ashton also, oh, okay, no, you no, say his name a lot. About, I know we say his name a lot. No, no, he's gonna have to start paying every time y'all say well, no, his actually, name. Well, no, he's to come on the show. So. As soon as that's four times in less than a minute. Easily, Ashton. easily. We have an official so. sponsorship now. <laughs> no, we ain't making no money off of it. We're gonna. He needs to pay for that's every right. time we say his name. Fork it up. <laughs> Well, Libby, how many times has he said Libby? Yes. How many times have to, you said We have to fucking name an episode Libby because he said it so many you times. You literally say Ashton every episode. Libby, you do not say every episode. Do you hear that, Ashton? I want to say Reese. <laughs> well, Reese actually is yeah, on, on the podcast. That's right. So he needs to have his name said. Thank you, Reese. No problem. <laughs> so, all right. Well, well. Uh, I think we can go ahead and sign off. Huh? Oh, it's my turn. Is it is, it it is your turn. Just, yeah, let's go ahead and sign up. Big dog out. Goodbye. Bye. Big dick out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>